What's up guys, Alden Anthony, and welcome to another long-term motorcycle gear review. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the first ever helmet I bought, which is the Icon Armada. Perfect. So if you're not new to riding, then I'm sure you've seen this helmet and many others like it out on the road. The Icon Armada is hands down one of the most popular motorcycle helmets out there, straight up, it just, it just is. They have a hundred different colorways and all sorts of crazy graphics to subtle graphics to just matte finishes like this. And when I first saw this helmet, I knew I wanted it because it kind of had that aggressive look to it. It looked, it looked cool and matte black just tends to go with pretty much anything. Now, when I got it, I was needing it as an entry-level helmet, something that was affordable, that wasn't gonna break the bank because I just bought a bike, right? I can't go and spend $800 on a helmet. And then some people have this argument saying, you know, that's where you should spend your money, is on protective gear, and I totally get it. I get where you're coming from, but let's face it, a lot of kids out there buying bikes, you know, buying an $800 helmet isn't the first thing they're gonna do. They're gonna buy their expensive bike and they're gonna try to find an affordable way to stay protected and still ride. And that's where I think the Air Mata fits that, uh, fits that bill. So with that said, I've had this helmet for coming up on uh, four years now, basically. And I've ridden it through hell and back, uh, putting 900 mile road trips on with this helmet. I have ridden it commuting on the Grom. I have taken on the speed triple through canyons and mountains. But ultimately, it's my motovlogging helmet. This is what I wear to create all my motovlogs. I have my GoPro mounts in the front, my GoPro mount on the side here. I have my Cena SMH10 on the side. Uh, this is kind of my workhorse helmet. This is my go-to if I'm gonna go jump in on the bike and ride to the store, if I'm gonna ride around with friends, this is typically the helmet I'm gonna reach for first. I do have other helmets, and I have collected helmets over the years, but this has been always what's been tried and true. This is what I like the most, and it fits my head Perfectly, you know, I've broken it in to where the padding just molds to my head and every time I put it on it feels like uh, I'm getting hugged and it feels nice. With that said though, this helmet, it, it's taken some abuse. I've never truly dropped the helmet. It's kind of takes some tumbles, you know, on the road. It's kind of fallen on its side and whatnot. I've never dropped it, but I'm sure it would hold up just fine. Uh, really the biggest thing to take home from this is I've had this for four years and I haven't had a whole lot of issues. The issues I've had were mainly cosmetic. So the one cosmetic thing that bothers me the most is this lower rubber portion on the bottom of the helmet. During the summer months when it gets extremely hot outside, this rubber portion likes to unglue itself uh, and basically hang off the helmet. So if I'm out on a ride and I sit this on a park bench and it's extremely hot outside, this portion will just fall right off. So over the years, I've had to glue this back together several times which is a bit annoying, but in terms of everything else on the helmet, it's a, it's a very small cosmetic feature and it isn't too bad. Now, the other thing I wanna point out is the inside of the helmet. I mentioned that the padding has been great over the years and has really held up. However, after about four years, the padding does tend to wear down and really softens up. So, it, which once was a really tight fit and really comfortable fit, it has gotten loose over the years and that's just gonna happen with any padding. You just replace that motorcycle padding. Now, other than that though, um, one thing I wanna point out is the actual finish of the helmet. Um, being that rubberized finish, it's kind of a pain to clean bugs off of, straight up. It's just, it's not good. Especially if you're lazy like me and you get covered in bugs and you set your helmet aside for a while, um, you'll come back and those things will be rock hard onto that rubberized surface. And the crappy part about it is that you can clean it the best you can. You can use like towels soaked in hot water to soften the bugs and then remove them but what's left behind are these permanent bug stains. So those bug splatters have you know, acid within those bugs. I mean, those bugs have you know, acid in their, in their bodies. So when it hits it, it's an acidic effect on that matte finish. So it leaves all these marks and all these little bug etchings on the helmet. And even with it being clean, it doesn't look great. So if you do get one of the rubberized matte finishes, keep in mind, you're gonna get some bug splatter marks. But other than that though, the mechanism on the helmet still works. It feels nice and tight still over the years. I never had any issues with that. Changing out the visor is also extremely easy. All of the different slots and vents all work. Nothing is broken off over the years. Again, I haven't dropped this helmet. It has taken a, 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 a spill, a rolling spill before, but it's never been dropped. So nothing's really had a chance to break. Now, other than that, I think it's a really affordable helmet. It's got 
plenty of air. When wearing this in the summertime, it's extremely comfortable. I love it on the naked bikes. I have other helmets that I don't like on the naked bikes that don't feel as great. This helmet does feel great. It doesn't have too much um, uh, wind buffeting to where you're getting that, that shakingness feeling on your head. And the other big thing I really like about it is how easy it is to make this your motor vlogging helmet. Basically, underneath here, all these little rubber areas, you have tons of space to shove wire into. I got tons of space for speakers in here. So my Cena SMH10 running the speakers, it's got a nice little port here where the ears go um, that fit nicely. Now, so for motor vlogging, what I like to do is I like to take a GoPro mount, a curved GoPro mount with some extra 3M uh, adhesive tape and cut out little lines to where I can basically mold that to the curvature of the front of the helmet. Being this is curved here, I take one little piece right here, one little piece right here with a major flat piece and press it on here. And this thing's been on here for four years and it's, <laughs> it's not coming off. I also have my side mount here, that's not coming off either. So in conclusion, the Air Mata is a great entry level to intermediate level helmet. I think if you're getting into racing or if you're needing something with more protection and going like a Snell rated helmet, like an Arai or a Shoei or something like that, would be in your best interest. But I mean, for the price, literally you can't beat this. This is an awesome helmet. It looks good, it fits great. Um, I absolutely love it and it comes in a ton of different colorways. So anyways guys, if you found this review helpful, four plus years in this helmet and you wanna see more, let me know, give me a like. You guys can subscribe for more, and as always, we'll catch you the next one. Salt Anthony. Peace.